The biggest thing you can do, email, snail mail, phone your representative in Congress and, and tell them what you think. And I'm a Lincoln machine, link down below to find your representative and then email him. And super mega ultra point, have a voice today because you might not have one tomorrow. In 2012, at a time when anyone with a cell phone can spread views around the world with a click of a button, the notion that we can control the flow of information is obsolete. Self. The beauty of this is not that we have one coherent message. The beauty is that we, each individually, have created a space that finally we can talk about the things that actually matter. We can talk about the things that affect us as human beings. From the outside looking in, it can look really chaotic. And, you know, sure it's chaotic, but that's the nature of humankind. You know, all the other things... Frustration and discord are burning in every city, north and south. Where legal remedies are not at hand, redress is sought in the streets, in demonstration, parade, and protest, which create tension. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created in I have agreed. But only here did that little band of men so advance beyond their time that the world has never seen their like since. Evolve the idea that you and I have within ourselves the God-given right and the ability to determine our own destiny. But freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in the bloodstream. The only way they can inherit the freedom we have known is if we fight for it, protect it, defend it, and then hand it to them with the well-taught lessons of how they in their lifetime must do the same. And if you and I don't do this, and you and I may well spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it once was like in America when men were free. Thank you.